Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Erica, also known as Tilly Tarot, and today we're going to do a general pick a card reading. And if you like this reading, remember to put a thumbs up. But also, if you want to subscribe, I do more spiritual content on my little page, so you can find more there. But anyways, let's get into your readings. <laughs> So first off, um, a little disclaimer here, if you feel like it's someone else that I may be talking about in the readings, you can always flip the roles and some of it or some of it may not resonate just due to the people who may be watching this and there's a lot that may go on. Okay, starting off we have the Starseed Oracle, I'll be using this in your reading if you choose that. Pile 2, we have the Moonology deck. In Pile 3, we have the Power of Love deck. So here are all the decks with Pile 1 here, the Moonology in the middle for Pile 2, and at the end, we have the Power of Love for Pile number 3. If you need to, just pause now. Okay, let's get into them. Hi Pile 1, so if you chose the Sour Seed Oracle, this is your reading. There has been many loud noises going on, so it's been very difficult to um, do these readings. And I do apologise if I have to snip it out during this. Okay, Pile 1, before when I was trying to do a reading, I got maybe there's something around, maybe you're trying in the beauty industry here. And before there was maybe a divorce or commitment. So we'll see what pops out for pile number one. Pile number one. Pile number one, it looks like you're waiting for something here. Maybe for some good luck to come in. Or there's been. Don't wait on karma. I feel like you've dealt with karma. Don't don't wait for it. Yeah. Someone's done something sneaky. Don't wait for this person here. It's bad luck. It's start to looking, start looking for new things. If you are still looking at this. This does indicate an emotional offer. We'll get more into that. Once again, I did mention the beauty community here with the Empress. Very beautiful woman here. Something could have happened with the mum here. Or there could be a pregnancy. Someone here feels a bit left out in the cold. And if it was the sneaky person, serves them right. They're probably going through a time of bad luck here. Or either you are, you can switch and reverse the roles. But someone feels left out in the cold. But there is some sense of a new offer. Yeah, new offer. That King of Cups does talk about someone. This does, I will be honest, this does feel new. So there is someone here who would like to approach you romantically. But once again, this popped out in my other reading while I was trying to do the readings. But there's been a lack of clarity, maybe around why this person's done this, why am I left out in the cold what went wrong and with that card i pulled again three of wands it does talk to me that you may be waiting for them answers yeah let go of the burden here you're still a bit heartbroken here maybe there was a water sign here female or someone blonde here it does tell me that someone isn't quite ready to maybe you need to judge the situation maybe you need to start looking at it and being like actually this was wrong this was wrong this was wrong and here it tells me let go of the burdens and you're heartbroken I feel like once you let go of the past you're confident you're going to be confident and you are going to glow up. I do want to have a look at the Seven of Swords. Let's see the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. A 
well, whatever it was, it wasn't victorious. But someone here is still holding on to an aspect of this sneakiness. Either it was cheating or, once again, just something really sneaky. And it wasn't victorious. And someone here, I do get this may, this may have happened in work. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, someone, this does clarify that someone was adventurous and could have been a player here. I don't feel like it went victorious. With that Four of Pentacles, it does tell me someone's still holding on to an aspect or either holding on. It feels like more of a holding on. But it tells me with the Eight of Swords reverse, maybe they're still letting go of that worry or something around that. Let's look at the Ace of Cups. So this will tell us where this romance is coming from or this new emotional start. It could have... Someone here... I just saw this. Someone here could have got someone pregnant through cheating and a bad luck here or someone's feeling left out in the cold so either someone went off and got pregnant the ace of cups let's have a look well if that isn't so this does look like a big decision needing to be made but this is a love card this is like a soulmate and that could be with a water sign here with the king of cups this does talk about a father can be a father but it can be an emotional man here and this empress is kind of looking at this male i do feel like there could be a sense of counseling here i do get this maybe with this sneakiness my leg just got warm someone here may want to come back and apologize and maybe have some secrets here and want to control the situation um this does talk about the father here i'm sorry for the lighting um a father here so we do have the empress and the father so this is like a divine perfect couple but there's an apology or some secrets or something hidden and it does talk about this person being emotional and maybe wanting to apologize yeah, this does talk to someone. There's been a lack when it comes to a new start. So, here. This also could be telling me... What else could this be telling me? A lack when it comes to a new start. Maybe there's been some conflict with this. If you are birthing something... The Empress does talk about birthing something. There's been a conflict around this new start. So, yes. It does tell me someone emotional here with the water sign. Could be heartbroken. And it does talk about someone being emotional around this heartache. It tells me don't worry though around these conflicts here. This does, this does talk about a block when it comes to change. So maybe there's been a block when it comes to change. And maybe that's due to some conflict here blocking you from a new start here. Pile one. But basically I get that you're waiting for something. There's been some sort of bad luck. And that could have been with something sneaky. That didn't go victorious though. Um, someone could have been a bit adventurous here. There's an aspect of holding on to this sneakiness. There's a new start and it's going to either have a big decision or with a soulmate and it's with an emotional person. A king of cups could be a counsellor coming to help you here. There could be pregnancy and there could be a baby or something with the mum. Maybe the mum is causing a conflict here or being a bit... I got gnarly so we'll use gnarly. Don't know what that means. Um, don't worry and maybe the father maybe there's some father aspect here around 
the father who has a secret and may want to come forward and apologize here if that is a thing it just looks like a lot for you power one right now so yes let's go on to your oracles your oracles <laughs> i do like I, oh i do get someone here may like fishing i do get name okay look the seven star sisters is a card you pulled and what did i say birthing creations tapestry of life expression so definitely looks like you are birthing something and also don't sabotage yourself because you think it's not going to be victorious take that leap of faith and hold on to it could be another aspect here you can do this let's pull another one you could be maybe yeah once again i do get you could be in the beauty community earth pulsing pulse of the mother wow wow so the mother which again is the empress here it looks like you're birthing something new but there's a sense of here because it says slow down time and nature so maybe once again don't slow yourself down i know it says slow down but don't slow yourself down by thinking there's going to be some sort of conflict don't worry about that conflict um or you're going to sabotage this through not being victorious here there could be someone here helping you and has secrets but they may also be a bit childish or come off a bit childish to you pile one let's go Ooh. I thought that said the counselor. Lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. So once again, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Let go of trying to sabotage yourself or questioning everything. This could also indicate that this person or some sort of sneaky, if someone was sneaky, they are questioning themselves. They're questioning everything. Maybe you are questioning your pregnancy or this new birthing but anything under line must go because it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and you have two more cards here the creative the courageous peony wow that sounds like some pasta maleficent unique nature let yourself be seen in reverse you don't feel like you're ready to quite be seen in this womanly kind of way if you're a male here, I feel like the male, once again, there's a very emotional male here who would like to apologize. And it could also be a father. Karmic relationships, but in reverse. Let go. Like, honestly. Origin, energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Let go of any conflict you have with others or with... Hang on. That you have with others and I feel like you as an individual kind of need to forgive and apologize so yes I hope you like this reading if you do remember to give this a thumbs up and you can find more spiritual content on my homepage. and yes congratulations you're birthing something new don't stop yourself if no one else is gonna say it go for it go for it okay bye hi for the ones who choose the moonology deck this is your reading so let's get into it so how does this go you can flip and reverse the roles i have to make that clear again but let's just get into this so pile two what's going on i feel like there's some secrets here maybe some i do feel like for some of you some bullying the moon does talk about hidden things. It does talk about emotions here. You could be also a bit different and I feel like you could be doing something in school or some sort of aspect there. 
so it's time I feel like to come out of that sense of being loneliness I just feel so slowed down at at the moment it's time to let go of that loneliness and start communicating to people maybe there's some not quite wise communication from other people which I was getting um, maybe there's some things going on in social media be wise though be be wise this feels like it's been going on forever and could also be an indication of a negative pattern here there's been a lack of I do feel like this is more romance, a lack of starting a new sort of emotional start here. Yeah. It feels like you would either move on to something more successful than either hurting yourself by taking this by taking this chance here. Yeah. And please don't apologize here. For speaking your truth and making sure maybe you're someone in the community who wants to awaken people, don't apologize for that. Don't. It does feel like you're moving on to success though. Yeah. With the sun, it does tell me there is happiness here. But I am feeling there's a sense of slowness here. Yeah, it just feels very slow and hard for me to communicate. So this does indicate um, a male here, or it can indicate someone by the ego. So someone here could be very egotistical, but it tells tell me someone's happy. Aku, I do, aku, akuna matata. Maybe that's something for you. I do feel like here there's been a sense of friends. Maybe you feel like something hasn't quite ended with an air sign male here. If you're an air sign male, this may be you or someone who's very witty, very smart, very intellectual and maybe a teacher. So maybe this can be telling me that someone here can't travel for getting knowledge from a person or can't travel for their course or for education which i didn't mention before it does also to me this is my doctor card so maybe there's a delay when it comes to a doctor not being quite present at the moment and it does tell me that someone here feels like something hasn't ended with an air sign male who is quite distant at the moment someone here could do how do i do this um may have addictions mm. So we do have the king, oops, the king of wands, very passionate, does need a bit of space, but he is, wow, he is someone who is very passionate, very fiery, and it does talk about entrepreneurship. So I do feel like this is someone you are going to for advice, could be a blonde male. I do get this person does work in more hands-on things, so like, um, like building houses, so like concreting, wooding, carpeting. So there's a sense of needing to heal. Maybe this goes back to the sense of some sense of not quite correct communication, meaning it could have been immature, and a needing to heal from negative patterns where you couldn't let yourself give this cup. I do feel like that could be someone else not being able to give the cup here. The star does talk about, I do get news reporting, it does talk about, it does talk, sorry, I'm repeating myself. It does talk about being in the public eye, but um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but she's pouring her cup into two directions. One's more bigger than the other. So this is telling me, put more time into something else. Make sure you're transferring whatever this water is, so that could be work into something more you would like, so maybe entrepreneurship. Very interesting cards. Wow. 
I do feel like you may be waiting for some sort of equal give and take here, maybe from someone here. It does talk about generosity, maybe you want to go to travel or see an expansion here, in whatever that may be, but it feels like, have you even tried to put the effort in here for whoever that is for? I do get a mum vibe here. Maybe you have more like feminine, like mum. Mum can also talk about nurturing or new stuff because the mum has to birth the baby. And it does talk, I do get sisters here. Maybe your sisters are born. Period. Once again, another in the spotlight kind of card. It does talk about success. So, let me just take a moment and have a look at these cards. So, yeah. Pile two. Cards for pile two. A lot of reverse cards, so it looks like you aren't quite moving forward because I feel like you are stuck in these negative patterns of I'm not going to give my cup, I don't know how to maturely communicate this, I'm not quite wise in this department, and it does look like this. But it looks like you need to learn how to work with people. You could be in a working environment. Maybe you're at school. Which I did get before. And there's some sort of needing to work with people. This is very general because there could be many people watching this. I have to make that aware. So there's a lot of in the spotlight cards. Success. The star. These are, the star is a big Thing. maybe you are desired and you feel like you can't quite give your cup so you'll either move forward and suffer not even trying which I mentioned before maybe you are a male and you have found someone here who is in the spotlight or you find to be drop dead gorgeous and you're like Wow, I've been in these negative patterns for so long. Yep. I've been in these negative patterns for so long. I don't know how to communicate to you my feelings. And it feels like this may be bringing some tower moment to you actually needing to bring a stable offer into this sort of circumstance here. So, I don't know how long this has gone on for. Yeah. Maybe when you do reveal reveal your emotions here, there is going to be oh I feel a bit woozy. Um a sense of when you reveal your emotions, you like to be more um physical about it or a bit um You're more of a physical person when it comes to bringing forward your sort of expressing your emotions here. It does talk about maybe when you do give the offer, you feel like it might go that way or that's just the way you like to express your, your emotions but it's more like a physical matter and I hope that makes sense. So I am going to pull some moonology cards for you guys now. I have not been taking time, so I don't know how long this has been going on for, and I do apologise if some piles are longer than the others. So can we get some more on, oops, some more on, oops, oops, I did it again. Cards for pile two. Pile two, damn. It's time to take action, Aries. Well, it's time to take action. So you could be dealing with an Aries. This is someone, Aries does rule the fool. So it does tell me there's a new star here. But it's time to take action. Maybe that's around things that make you happy. Holy moly. A 
adjustments are required. So once again, when we are talking about the way you may of been in relationships before, which I do get, you may have um, not really communicate. Maybe there's some adjustments required when it's to your emotional state here. A personal issue reach resolution. Well, once again, that's, that, that sounds like a personal issue. But luck is on your side. It's looking for expansion in your emotional place. And Cancer does have a shell around it. So it doesn't really like to express its emotions. And it's time to adjust that. But, um, yeah. With Aquarius, that does tell me that you can be a bit detached at some times. And it's time to show the world the real you. Maybe you're in your head because this is purple. This is the upper chakras here. And it's really just saying, show the world the real you. Here. We do have two males, which could be an air sign here. And a king of wands here, which is a very passionate person. And blonde. And then the king of um, swords does talk about more um, a very intellectual man. Which you feel may have not quite ended. Just saying. But it does tell me... It's time to express your emotions here. Some dates could be the time of the Aries. I do apologize. I do not know this. I think it's at the beginning of the year. Around April, March, I believe. Cancer is July. So something could happen in July. There's a blue there. I'm getting your stomach. So your soul plexus. Something could be going on with the stomach. Be happy. Don't worry. I'm getting everything is going to be all right. So check that out. So maybe everything is going to be all right could resonate with you in the sense of expressing your emotions here. But luck is on your side. This does tell me travel. This is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is, I believe, after Libra season. So more at the end of the year. I do apologize about that. But there's a lot of new moons. Maybe you need to learn that with the Sagittarius, that you need to learn that to expand. And when I talk about expand, it does talk about um, expanding the view on your relationships. And I can't quite express it in the way I kind of want to. And yeah. Once again with that water, pouring it into yourself. She's got the star. The star is a lot of Aquarian energy. See how she's pouring that cup into herself instead of pouring it down there. Yes. So pile two, that is your reading for the Moonology Oracle. And I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for watching. And you can find more spiritual content down in my little... There should be a little photo down near Tilly Tarot. And thank you, and like and subscribe if this helped. Thank you. Pile three, let's get into your reading. What can we get for pile three? I feel new things, but a sense of sadness here. Pile three. Yeah, there's some burdens here. So this is telling me there's some sort of burdens. When it comes to, this looks like advice. So you need to cut out the things that are making you confused or you are. Be, don't be cold. This does, the Queen of Swords does tell me that she's very witty. She's cold. She's a teacher. She gives it served cold meat on a plate. I don't remember the saying. Um, but it tells me... Communicate, but don't make it confusing. Once again, there's a sense of being in public. Maybe you are doing a speech here. What is that little thing? I swear there was a little thing there. Um, being in public. And maybe... Yeah, you need, to, you need to talk. Like all things of the past, maybe this is some sort of talking about childhood. This does tell me there may have been things in your child that didn't go quite great and that may be a burden maybe you're looking towards this 
and trying to make sure that you can see your childhood as something that isn't quite confused confusing and I do feel like you're gonna have success or you're either wanting this in public or going to tell someone else do you apologize for these things this does talk about an apology so there could be an apology here but this does talk about children or the child life trigger warning here trigger warning trigger warning about babies you could have missed out on the opportunity to have a kid um yeah once again pile three once like a trigger warning the mother may have not been there in the family or you may feel a bit more comfortable in a place of Maybe you have issues around the mum and that's where you find your happiness, but this could be a negative pattern here. The f this does talk about the family and happiness. I feel like you are getting a romantic offer here. This could be a Leo here and this could be a water sign, but that doesn't have to resonate. The Queen of Wands is someone who's very passionate, very fiery. She sets boundaries, but it feels like you could be glowing up and you could be looking very beautiful towards someone and someone wants to come forward and propose this romantic romantic interest interesting i'm just gonna say i got the name kyle so kyle could be a name here i got slimsy so you are worrying about something you're Maybe you're worrying, once again, about that communication and how that's going to come forward. I think people are going to like your ideas, so don't worry about that. It's almost like, yeah, once again, you're kind of waiting for things to come towards you. Don't look for the answers outside. Look for them within because that's more of a place where you can get emotions. I'm hearing emotional. Maybe you're worrying about something you're waiting for. Maybe, once again, the mum could be sick here, family, or someone who's well known in the family as a female figure. Letting go of past things. Letting go of past things, which would make sense. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles and Judgment in reverse, that does tells me a stable offer, but is it really going to help you expand here? So if you are sharing ideas with people, make sure that this stable offer, you aren't looking at, at it for money, but for expansion. I heard tooting, tooting my horn. I think that's what it is. And there is a horn here on Judgment, which I am looking at. It's fighting, it's for standing up for things, the seven of wands. It does feel like a passion. Maybe you feel like you have to fight for things in your life. And maybe that is a pattern that you did get if your mother wasn't present here. Oops. I do feel like that was a karmic cycle, something could have happened in a year. This year has been tough, I will warn you. Once again, I'm feeling maybe around the home. It feels like, I'm sorry, I'm scratching my nose. It feels like you as an individual have problems with the people in your house. And it can be from bad to another extent. But it does tell me you either are being lucky at this moment or you are feeling a bit unlucky at this time. But this is karmic patterns here. This is something you had to do. And you have to find that strength. And it feels like for a long time you've had to obtain this line. This is strength. So this is Leo. This is a Leo card. Being in the spotlight. Telling people how it is. And you've had to almost control. Because she's controlling this line for a long time. You've had to fight for, or defend this almost. Well, this is a celebration, friends here, and this does talk about a wish. And it does, it 
it's a bit hard when there's a lot of people going to watch this but it does almost talk about a wish fulfillment with friends and community so maybe you're hoping for them to understand this or you're hoping for the people you are communicating things to to understand them and it's kind of a burden for you to talk to them I do feel like you want to invest in the future and you in something more emotional to you the Queen of Cups is someone who's emotionally mature female and has blonde hair so yes I'm hearing I think it's Billy Idol it's a nice day for a white wedding nice day for it's a nice day to start again so you check out that song that might help you you could also be quite artistic yeah let's see what else we can get for our pile there's a lack of being able to quite jump into this this does tell me there's a block of communication when it comes to travel or moving forward it's almost like a delay yeah and oh pile three this looks like you've put effort into something and there's been sort of sneaky sabotaging could be cheating and it's time to tell me to to end this cycle with the world and it's a sense of don't wait for this but also a sense of waiting for something new and maybe that has been the burden here there could have been some harsh words here but it's telling me to move on from this in this matter this could have been quite public this person could have been an air sign also but it looks like you put effort into something and either something happened either in a relationship or a career whatever this is and it, something sneaky happened or something sabotaged it and you had to end it and then you had to wait for something do you feel like this is work here i'm hearing more so we'll grab some more grab i feel like you are moving into successful times or you are this is a travel card and then we do have the world so there is some sort of travel aspect here you could travel but it's telling me it could also tell me that Things didn't go out while wanting to travel and you may have paid for tickets already and it didn't work out. Something along the lines of that. So you are moving into a successful time and investing your ideas or some sort of money aspect. And I feel like it's a new start and you're very passionate about it. So I do want to pull some cards for you. I didn't do this for the other piles but I feel like I want to pull some of these cards. I'm hearing Ariana must be love on the brain. So that may be an aspect here. So you may have could have simply been cheating and someone had love on their brain or you're thinking about that. And we do have someone here who does want to come forward and give you an emotional offer or a romantic start. Someone could have a name that starts with S, Sally, Samuel. Justin. Holy moly. Someone could be. Sorry, I felt like someone touched me. Someone here could be a country bunk. bunk uh, a country bunkin. So, cards for pile three. Pile three. Let's go. Pile three. Patience. Interesting. Patience. If you are healing, it will take time and you need that patience there. You want more freedom and you want more humanity. So maybe you are cutting things off and being cold towards things because there's a sense of, I oh know, stuff that's happened in my childhood. But it's almost like with freedom and humanity, humanity. I can't pronounce that word and I can't quite get it in the frame but there's a lot of red so it's a lot of needing to ground and it's that orangey kind of sense there so I will read you the cards patient and this does feel really slow when I pick this card up 
you are able to let the universal energies of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So if you have dealt with someone in the past, let that go. There's someone new coming, but you can you can only listen to what I say and you could do something different. So I will I will tell you that. There's a sense of needing freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. You are starting to open up about these things that haven't quite been nurturing along the way or haven't quite been nurturing with people feeling like I would rather end things because people are going to be sneaky and I won't even put the effort into it so I'll just wait. And that is what I do see with some of these cards here. And you meant it terror. I can't say this word, but I do know what it is. Humility. Humility. Okay. You have developed a loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. And that's just a quick message to tell you they had to do some things to get rid of some karma and you had to go along on that journey with that person. So you could grab a piece of information that you didn't even know about yourself. So... Yeah, I got Facebook also, I'm hearing. So, I, I'm also getting Summer Lovin' by, I'm pretty sure it's off Greece. Summer Lovin'. So, yeah, you can check them songs out. But thank you, Pile 3. Summer Lovin'. Yeah, that could be that new person. So, thank you for sticking around here. I do feel like you, I'm sorry, I do feel like you could have been dealing with someone karmic. We don't have the devil here, but with that six of cups reversed, it tells me you're disconnecting of the soulmate, something from the past. So, thank you for watching these short little pick a card readings, and thank you, Pile 3, for sticking around. Remember, do you like this if you did resonate or you got something really informative, and if I got down to that little nitty gritty bit? Um, and I hope. You are going to be okay because there is people out there that can help you. And come check out my little account down there where I post spiritual stuff. Thank you and see you next time.